Hi, and welcome back to the Dr. Ramsey Show. Today, I want to share something one of our patients said to us. She was sitting in the front lobby, and the phones were ringing, and she heard a woman on the phone, kind of not sure if she wanted to come. And um, she heard the receptionist talking to her for such a long time. And after the phone call was over, she said, if you ever have patients like that, they don't know what to expect, have them call me. And I thought that was such a nice thing for her to say. She's been so appreciative of coming here. I want you to introduce you to Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Hi. And thank you for that. Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't think you're nosy. I don't think you're <laughs> nothing. I think it's great that you care about our business. I do. You hear certain things and you say stuff. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I really want. I wish I could tell everyone to come here. I really do. I wish. I mean, I drive down the street. I see people jogging and they're overweight and they're women in my age. And I think... I just want to pull over and give them your card yeah. you know, because I just wish everyone could get the help that mm -hmm. you gave me. But the difference is not everyone wants to put the effort in that you yeah. put. So yeah. you did your part too. It's not just me. If patients do their part, you know, it's like a home run. Yeah. And I know prior to, you know, coming here, you had some trouble finding somebody yeah. who could help you and you were seeking, what were you seeking for specifically? What symptoms were you going through? Um, I just could not lose weight no matter how hard I worked out. I was counting calories and I couldn't sleep. I mean, I couldn't, I just had this cycle. I didn't really have a lot of motivation to do anything outside of the house. Yeah. I can remember sitting on the couch and just thinking, I have all these things I'd want to do. Not things you want to avoid doing, like chores, but there's things that I really want to do that would give me satisfaction, like hobbies, and I couldn't even bring mm -hmm. myself to do those. Mm -hmm. So I did try to find somebody and start somewhere to get help. Um, this was probably 10 years ago. And yeah. I was in Chicago at the time and living there. And I went to a naturopath. I went to a GYN. I went to um, DOs, several DOs, and who also practice holistic medicine. But yeah. everyone had a different solution, their version of a solution, but none of them were an actual solution. Mm -hmm. I never felt better. And I was really pretty much giving up until a friend referred me to you. And you really gave me my life back. Mm -hmm. And I truly mean that. Yeah. And I think for you too, because I remember you're at the beginning, it was pretty immediate. I mean, there were some stumbling blocks, mm -hmm. but then all of a sudden, once things locked in, you started losing weight like yeah. effortlessly. Yeah. I did nothing to lose weight other than follow your protocol and mm -hmm. get my hormones and my body working again. Mm -hmm. I didn't diet. I did not exercise. I was not doing what I was trying to do 10 years ago. It just came off. And I feel like it's because my body returned to being a balanced system. And it worked for me and I could sleep again. So you have energy if you to live your life and to move and to go outside and mm -hmm. enjoy just routine stuff. But I did not change my diet and I was a huge sugar addict. I probably continued still having dessert yeah, every night. Yeah, you did. Um, <laughs> for a while. But I just did not um, have any issues losing the weight. I'm mm -hmm. down 40 pounds now. I love so. it. <laughs> Effortlessly. I mean, you yeah. didn't go on a diet. No. We don't count calories. We do yeah. not count calories. That is not the yeah. way to lose weight yeah. because there's all the different qualities of calories, yeah. you know? And then I think you were also, I think you said you were over-exercising, yeah. which we don't have to do. Yeah. Um, over-exercising causes a lot of stress in our body. Good stress, but still stress. Yeah. yeah. So you're sleeping, your energy there, you have motivation to get off the couch and yeah. do things that you love. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say that probably in the first six months of seeing you and being on the new protocol, I was probably down 25 pounds and yeah. then the rest of it is just followed just without thinking about it. It just comes off. So mm -hmm. I feel really happy with myself. It changes your whole attitude when you don't feel good about yourself, your especially for women. You know, we, we hate ourselves and mm -hmm. we don't want to look in the mirror. We don't want to put on new clothes. You know, it just changes a lot of things about our psyche. And now, Oh, now I feel great. Yay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. Now I feel good again. My husband has always been supportive, but I feel like he thinks his wife has come back to him, you know, the mm -hmm. person that he married. I love when I hear that. Yeah. So it's it has changed me forever. Right. And Ian comes here too. Yes. He's um he comes once a year. Yes. Your husband. Mm -hmm. Most patients come once a year, mm -hmm. unless we're doing pellets, then we see you three times a year, four times a year. But it, you're just a pleasure. And the fact that you want to help other women and men is yeah. is is such a kind thing for you to yeah. say. Yeah, I really do. And my best friend actually, last week she said, you know, every time you see Dr. Ramsey, you tell me you need to go see her. Mm -hmm. And so I should probably just make an appointment and go see her. Because <laughs> <laughs> I try to help anybody I can who I think is in our age group or who has issues or even younger and that they just are yeah. out of balance. They mm -hmm. just need to have it checked. And Maybe that's not their issue, but they need to find out. And a traditional MD will not do that for yes, you. Yes, yeah. I don't, no one ever tested my thyroid before you. No one tested my testosterone. They just mm -hmm. do the general and move on. And 
they really just, you're kind of just a number and you're not that way at all with your people. You mm -hmm. care so much about us and that mm -hmm. really makes a difference. I do because, you know, what we do is different than anybody else. Mm -hmm. And I do care a lot about my patients because they give me life. I mean, every time I see them and they're telling me how well they're doing, yeah. it, it satisfies me. And, you know, God gave me this career and I couldn't be more grateful. Yeah. And so the doctors you went to, though, you know what they are trained in? Prescribing medications. Mm -hmm. doing surgeries. They're not trained in the aging process. Yeah. Like this is a whole field that I think should be FDA approved. Yeah. This should be the type of medicine for aging people. This is my teacher thinks as well. He's so frustrated yeah. that the world doesn't know about this. You have to come to me or him, yeah. you know, to really get the truth about the aging and the safety of hormones. It's, it's really sad for me. Yeah. And part of the problem is people trust their regular doctors. Women trust their GYN. Mm -hmm. And if they won't tell them something different, then they think there isn't any alternative. I just had a friend tell me that their GYN told them they have to get off estrogen. And it's because she's on chemical estrogen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If she were to move to the natural um, replacements that I take, then she wouldn't have any issues. Right. You know, and I would hate to see her just fall off into the aging system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's the majority of the medical world today. Yeah. This is like the best kept secret, I think. No, I agree. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. I don't. I don't, not sure that they're all there to help you. I think they think they are, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure they know. They don't have the tools to really help mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. They've just never been educated like you have. That's right. That's right. And I really love my teacher. Thank you, Neil. Without him, I wouldn't know anything I'm doing. Yeah. Because of him and because of the research, I'm very confident yeah. in what I do. Yeah. Well, I'm a believer because you saved me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing today. Of I course. really do appreciate that. And um, if anybody wants to talk to Rhonda, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I'm not going to put your number on the video. <laughs> I'm completely available. Ask Dr. Ramsey at the front desk. <laughs> I'll talk so to anyone. If you want to talk to her, yeah, let the front desk know and we'll give you a call. And I yeah. really do appreciate it. Thank you so much of again. Course. And every, everybody else, have a great week. And thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.